Hello everybody, so I'm going to show you how to play the first three games um, on your Seesaw assignment. So we have Lifeguards, Pay For It, and Hickory Dickory Clock. So first we're going to start with Lifeguards and how you play. So save the swimmer by using your knowledge of place value. So this H stands for our hundreds. The T stands for tens, and the zero stand or the O stands for ones. Okay, so let's just start with up zero to fifty. So here's our zero to fifty, and look where our person is. Our boat needs to save him, and he is on what number? It's showing us up here forty nine. So we have to make forty nine. Okay, so if we're looking at number forty nine, how many groups of ten do you see? four groups of 10. So we're going down here. We're going to bring four groups of 10 over here. Okay. So look, it changed our number to a four. And then how many ones do we need? Look at our ones place. Nine. We need nine ones over here. So we got to drag nine ones over here. Okay. Seven, eight, and nine. Okay. And here we will press our go button because now we have the, the right number to go save him. Let's see. Watch our boat. And he picked him right up. Our boat has to go right on the number. Okay, so here's our next one. Let's look where our person is this time. Help, help. Where's he at? Look at our numbers between 10 and 20. He's at 16. Okay, so how many groups of 10 do you see? Just one. One group of 10. And how many ones do you see? Six. Good job. So we will put six ones over here. And we will see if our boat will make it to 16. Let's go. Yay! We got him. So this is how you play lifeguards. Okay, let's go to pay for it. This is your next game you will play. So you can play the paying game or giving change. Um, but I will play the paying game for us. I, that would, I, that's what I would suggest. Okay, in our level one, pay up to 10p. I'm not sure what p means, but we're going to do the first level. Oh, okay. So we are the customers. So we have to scan the item and pay for it with the right money. But look at our money. This is not United States dollar bills, so we have to go to our United States flag, okay? And that will give us the correct money. Now we see one dollar, a quarter, a dime, a nickel, and a penny. So first we have to scan. Here's our scanner. And how much is our toy? One cent. So we're going to take our one penny and put it in the cash register and check it. Thank you. Now how much do we think our can of beans is going to be? How much is a can of beans? Let's find out. We got a scan. Nine cents. So how can we make nine cents? Can we just put our dime over here? That's ten. Oh, too much money. So we have to use our coins that we have. So how can we make nine cents? A nickel's worth five. We can count on six, seven, eight, and nine. Let's check it. Thank you. Okay, so you will keep playing trying to get the right amount of money. Okay, let's do one more. Our price is nine cents. Nine cents. So we need to make nine again. We have five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Let's check it. Good job. Okay, and next, our um, last game you will play is Hickory Dickory Clock. So we'll go to level one. It says, read the time written in the black and white. Click press on the clock face with the watch, with the matching time. Okay, so we have o'clock, a quarter past, quarter to, and half past. So, a quarter past ten. So, a quarter past ten. Hmm, let's look. Where, which one shows us ten o'clock? These two show us 10 o'clock, okay? And a quarter past, how do we know what a quarter past is? Well, we, this is how we find out. Let's try this one. Oh, we got a check mark. A quarter past was 10.15. And I know that's 10.15 because I know I count by five. Starting from 12, that would be 5, 10, 15 is a quarter past, okay? Let's go to our next one. Oh, here we go. Did it go? Half past four. So it has to be four o'clock. It's halfway past. So where is half past four o'clock? Let's look. 
This is showing me 5 o'clock. This is showing me 4 o'clock, but is it halfway? No, so it has to be this one. Good job. Let's try one more. A quarter past four. I think we've done that one. A quarter past four. Do you remember what that was? It has to show that it's on four o'clock. So this one, our, our hour is showing us on five. So it can't be this one. It has to be one of these two. And a quarter past. Do you remember? Here's a quarter past. It's on the three. Our minute hand is on the three. Okay? So that is how you will play these first three. And I hope you have fun.